Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to set up messaging for in-app and web in an experience cloud site. In this example, I am using messaging for in-app and web. This is not a free uh, feature. Uh, it requires uh, embedded uh, service messaging license. Uh, without that, we won't be able to uh, uh, enable it and uh, set it up in a in in uh, in a sandbox or in a production org. So make sure you have the required license before setting this up. So the first step is uh, we have to go to messaging settings under Salesforce setup and enable messaging. Next, click new channel. Click start. Select messaging for in-app and web. Give a channel name and save it. I have already created a channel. So this is my channel. I am not using any custom parameters. And I am using pre-chat. So in my uh, uh, pre-chat, I have added first name, email, last name and subject. I have a, an Omni flow where I have four variables in my Omni flow. First name, email, last name and subject. I will also show the flow and uh, I will quickly describe what the flow is going to do. So this is a simple flow. In the flow, this is an Omni flow. Um, first, I'm checking whether email is present. I have set up these variables. If the if the email is not blank, I'm checking uh, and uh, trying to fetch the contact, which is matching the uh, particular uh, uh, email ID. And after that. I am fetching the messaging session record using the record ID. And I am checking whether the contact is present. If the contact is present, I am updating the messaging end user record. In messaging session object, we have lookup to contact, but you cannot update it. You have to update the messaging user contact record so that it will automatically update the messaging sessions a contact record so here i'm updating messaging user object id is messaging sessions messaging user i'm getting that and after that i'm updating the contact ID. and then finally it will route the messaging session how this is called is So for omni-channel routing, for my messaging, uh, for in-app and web channel, I am selected. I, I have selected OmniFlow and this is the flow and this is a backup. Just in case if something happens with this flow, like uh, an exception or something, it will go back and uh, um, assign it to a different queue. Okay. The next step is you have to create a, an embedded uh, uh, service deployment for messaging uh, uh, for in-app and web. Once you uh, do it, you can click edit pre-chat, make it active and add the list of fields you want. Even if you want, you can add custom fields also. Okay. So once this is done, now we are going to see how to test this uh, messaging uh, for in-app and web in an experience cloud site. So for that I have created a site and this is the URL. Yeah. 
while this load you have to copy this URL without the path and you have to add it in cars and also if you click the embedded install code snippet you will see SRT2 URL you have to copy this URL and add it in CSP here I have selected all because I am going to use across multiple websites and also experience cloud sites if you want uh, your messaging to be working only uh, from your uh, experience cloud site then the context should be experience cloud sites so for the course add your community URL or experience cloud site URL and in the CSP add the SERT2 URL from the embedded service deployment code snippet after that in the footer add embedded messaging component you have you should not add embedded service chat you should add embedded messaging once you drag and drop the messaging uh, embedded messaging you will be able to select the deployments once you um, uh, add it will automatically add the enhanced service URL click publish and you can easily test it this course and CSP is important in the course add your experience cloud site URL or uh, the community site URL in the CSP add your SCRT2 URL which is from embedded service code snippet okay so let's test it So it displays the pre-chat once I click start conversation so it routed the messaging session to me so I am typing as an agent and uh, the visitor will receive and the visitor can also send a message I hope it was helpful thank you for watching